Welcome back guys to what is going to be a bit of a deep dive on the mechanics of the game and then I'm going to pose a decision. Well, I'm going to pose a question and you've got to make the decision. Do we restart the map? And I'm going to give you three options. Okay, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Let me explain the situation currently. So the situation currently is that we are not making a lot of money as it stands at the moment and our passenger lines are coming to the end of their life. Now, at 75%, these go, uh, 75% of their maximum age, they'll start pretty much losing money unless you've got like a really perfect line. If we look at the finances, you can see the costs going up and yeah, profits are coming down steadily. I mean, this was making 16K, then three, 14. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. So, I, I played on for, I wanted to see like exactly where we were. So I actually sold off all the vehicles apart from apart from the two trains that we've got. And it added up to about 2.3 million. The trains are worth like 2 million each. So we're looking at like 6.3 million. Well, we started with 10, right? And we've still got the max loan out. So we've actually lost money, right? So I thought, well, okay, well, let's see. Like, can I recover from this? So I played on a little bit. Let's see what happened. So here we are three years later. It's uh, 1867 and I've just sold off all the vehicles again, ha having invested in, uh, in several lines, like um, uh, uh, doing some more farming. I did some more farming down in, in uh, Clarksville, set up a line down here, uh, invested more in uh, the the farming lines uh, in Santa Ana and Syracuse, uh, more in Toronto and Montreal, and getting these um, getting these lines linked together between uh, between Syracuse, Seattle, Vancouver, Toronto. Uh, ran it ran it for like three years and then sold everything and I'd got four point two three. So I'd made like two million in three years. So. Is that recovering? Yeah. Can I can I carry on from this point and make a profit? Yeah. But it's going to be a very slow process. And I've noticed several people in the comments saying, this is supposed to be all American steam, not all American horses. So the, it's going to be a slow process for us to get enough cash together to start investing in the railways because um, the railways take a lot of cash. I mean, this one line down here, this one train line we've got, cost like six million almost. Well, I think it was five, like 5.7 million to put that line in. Um, so yeah, I'd have, to, I'd have to run this for like, what, nine years to be able to afford to put a line like that in. And it's only got two trains and they're not even that big. So like, playing on hard, hard is really, really hard. Uh, you, okay, the difference between easy, medium and hard on easy, the game works out like a like a cost per mile, like how much you get paid for, like per mile you travel. And on easy mode, you get 100% of it. On medium mode, you get 75% of it. On hard mode, you get 50%. Now, now, don't take that for absolute gospel, but that's what I believe is the case. And this is why hard is so hard. I mean, on medium, you're getting 33% more cash. And that's huge. And that's why, like, EPEC I played on medium. And EPEC was really easy. Like, loads of cash, not a problem. On hard, it's much, 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 much harder. You've got to be very precise. So let me show you, like, how precise you've got to be to, to really make it work. Now, like I said, can I make this work? Yeah, it's going to be really slow going. Uh, so let me show you kind of a, a perfect setup. And I'll, I'll go into some of the mechanics of how you make it perfect. Okay, so here we are on my restart map, <laughs> which, um, well, I just wanted to see, like, if I, if I started again and just, like, like focused on it, getting, like, an absolutely perfect start, what could I do? And I actually renamed a lot of the cities, uh, and I tried to make it as geographically accurate as possible. So we've got New Orleans, San Diego, uh, Dallas, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, Kansas City, Atlanta, Orlando, uh, Washington, New York, St. Louis over here, Chicago, San Francisco. Portland, Portland, Oregon, Boston, and then Montreal, Toronto, Vancouver, and Seattle up there. 
So I focused on these three towns. Now, on the previous map, right, I was trying to do a link between Portland, Seattle, Vancouver, Toronto. And what I realized is that's not really going to work because, you know, okay, for for this to be perfect, you need all of your vehicles, to, or all your freight vehicles, and, well, and your passenger vehicles, but uh, really your freight vehicles need to be full, like all the time, or nearly all the time. So let's just have a look at what I've got set up here. Uh, let's bring up this so you can see, actually see the lines on the map as well. Okay, uh, let's get rid not achievements. What the hell am I looking for? Oh yeah, I want to get rid. I want to get a close eyes down. Let's get let's get rid of the vehicle so we see the lines. Okay, so one I've got set up. I've got a food line over here that's delivering food into Portland, and then here in Minneapolis, I've got a stone quarry and we're delivering construction materials into Minneapolis, and then over here in Chicago, we've got a fuel line delivering fuel into Chicago. Then I've got two general lines, which link together the, these, uh, these central hubs. And we're moving fuel from here to uh, Minneapolis, and then taking construction materials from Minneapolis back. So we're full all the time. And if you look at, um, if you look at this line, you can see, construction materials and fuel and it's almost full we're one short and then uh, let me sort this point balance and then um, over here we're shipping food in here and construction materials out so again you know we're full all the time and in actual fact we're we're getting to the point of, of shipping uh, food like all the way from here over to Chicago and fuel all the way over here. And if we look at these, maybe we'll see that. Um, we're, we're getting food and construction materials. I have seen some food and some um, some fuel get to each end. We've got all three there. And over here. No, just the just the construction materials and the and the fuel at the moment. But I have seen I have seen food here and I have seen fuel on the other one. The point is that our vehicles are all full. So we've got um, like like pretty much, you look around, pretty much all the lines, all the vehicles are full all the time. I've also got a couple of passenger lines, one uh, from Chicago to Minneapolis and Minneapolis to Portland. Uh, just, just a few vehicles, just to create the links so that they start to grow and they are growing. So um, this is pretty much perfect setup. But even this, okay, if you look at uh, Portland food, uh, now, I originally put 50-50-50 vehicles on. I increased Portland food because uh, the line's slightly longer and I needed more vehicles on that to balance the production of food, the production of construction materials and the, uh, and the construction of, of fuel. And in actual fact, um, yeah, we've, got, we've only got like 12 fuel there. I, I actually need some more vehicles on, uh, on the fuel line to, to boost that. Uh, but that aside, the MinCM line, right, is making quite a lot less than the other two lines. Now, why is that? And it's because of the terrain. Over here, this is like pretty much perfectly flat. There's a little hill here, but it's pretty darn flat. Over here, this is pretty flat. There's a, you know, it's, 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 a, it's not a steep incline. So the vehicles can keep up um, pretty much their max speed all the way. Whereas here, um, originally, the line went up this road and then over this hill. Now, look at this. <laughs> this, this was brutal going up here and over this hill. And this line was only making like um, 50,000. So I rerouted it and put a road going in here, up, up here. It's much better, it's making a lot more, but hills, <laughs> Hills cost you money. This is why playing on a hilly map is a, a lot more difficult than playing on a flat map. Uh, not just It's not just the cost of laying tracks and, and roads and whatever. It's, uh, it's the fact that your vehicles are slower going up hills and that costs you money. So um, yeah, like how does the game calculate how much you make? Well, it's the distance traveled and 
the average speed, okay? So if you've got vehicles that are going up a hill and are slowing down dramatically for, for a period of time, you're losing money. It's bringing down the average value or, uh, of that line. Um, like over here, the, the, the line from Minneapolis to, uh, to Portland was, uh, was making like nothing. And I realized that it was because of going over this hill. It was just a nightmare. So I actually spent 600,000, I invested 600,000 in putting this tunnel in. And now, um, let's see, now it's making money. It's actually making like 85 grand, which is pretty darn good. But it was making next to nothing before I put, like, put that tunnel in. So that's how much these kinds of things impact the game. And I remember down here, we had a line going from um, San Diego up to, well, this, uh, what was it? This was Laredo, and I, uh, this was Clarksville, Clarksville, Laredo. And it never made any money. And the reason it didn't make any money was because going up this hill was just crippling our wagons. They were just traveling so slowly up this hill that they just never made any money. Uh, and the same, like, like over here, this is a pretty steep hill going up here. And so this line up here wasn't making too much cash. And, and there were other issues around the map, like this, this road going up here, not good. So there are a lot of issues, a lot of issues. And to, to really make, make a success of the series and be able to have all of the beautiful trains running around, which is what we really want, um, we've got to make a tough choice. We've got to make a tough choice. So, I'm going to give you three choices. I'm going to put a pile up in the top corner, um, and you guys decide. So, we can either carry on from, from where I was, and um, just like make the best of it, and just make it like, well, we're playing on hard, on a hilly map, it's going to be really difficult, like, let's see what we can do, right? But, seriously, don't expect a lot of trains anywhere in the near future. Um, or we can restart, and we can just restart, like, like maybe from this point. In fact, probably what I'll do is um, set up another three towns like this. So, if I set up another three towns, and I'd probably do, I'd actually pick a bit, a, like a flatter area. So I'd probably do like St. Louis, St. Louis, Kansas City, because that's pretty much dead flat. And then Kansas City, Las Vegas, because that's also not too bad. There's, um, I could also do, I could maybe do San Diego, Los, Los Angeles, Las Vegas or something like that. So yeah, um, now if I set up another three towns like this, then right now we are making, with an investment of only 3.7 million, we're making 600,000 a year. Um, yeah, no, it, yeah, and that's including the loan interest. Right? We're actually making, it's, it's December the 27th, so we're actually making 600,000. Which would mean that if I, um, if I doubled this up, which I could easily do, I've certainly got enough money to do that, right from the beginning, like within four years, we're making like well over a million. Like, like what, 1.2 million, something like that. Now that is a, is a start that I can build on and you know, get profitable, put in some trains and stuff around the place um, like probably by the 1870s you know we can start seriously putting in some uh, like passenger trains and stuff maybe maybe replacing some of these lines uh, we're actually with uh, with trains so yeah um, that's that's kind of option two option three is to restart on medium right and if I restart on medium then I can be like a lot more slapdash. Um, we'll have trains. Trains won't really be too much of a, well, trains just won't be a problem. We'll be able to do stuff like pretty easy. So it's kind of up to you. Which of those three options do you want to go for? Carry on, struggle, struggle on from, from where I was. Uh, restart with uh, kind of more of a perfect start or restart on medium. Well, the choice is yours. Polls up in the top right hand corner, 
place, you, play, you know, you pay your money, but it makes your choice. Decide what you want, and uh, in the next episode, I'll reveal the results of the poll, and we will go on from there. Uh, the one thing that is for certain, we're, this series is going to continue, because I am absolutely loving it. I have spent, oh, like every waking hour, pretty much, for the last couple of days, like figuring out all of this stuff, and, and trying out different scenarios, and putting this together and stuff, uh, and figuring out exactly what works, what doesn't work, uh, what I would have to do to recover and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, vote and uh, come back for the next episode and I'll tell you what the result is. Guys, thanks for watching. I do hope you're enjoying this. And, um, yeah, I'll catch you for the next episode. Peace out.